The main purpose of the streamcast is to format the data. So today we'll talk about how to format the data. See out 34. This will print out 34 in the standard out. Now if we do cout.setf, this is set format, iOS, oct, iOS, base, field. This will set the standard out's format to be octal number. Now if we do cout34, this will print out 42. And if we do cout.setf, iOS, show base and now if we print out 34 it will print out 0 42 and if we change the format to hex and then print out 34 it will print out OX 22 that's the hexadecimal number and if we do cout.onsetf, iOS, show base, and then print the 34, it will hide the base information. And if I do cout.setf, back, this will change the format back to the decimal format. I can also change the ways of uh, the output. See out wave 10. This will change the output ways to be 10 characters. Now I do see out 26 and L. This will print something like 26 because the data will be aligned to the right. This is the default alignment. And of course I can change the default alignment. Set F, iOS, left, iOS, adjust field. Now the output will be something like this. Now let's talk about floating point value formatting. See out, set F, iOS, scientific, iOS, float field and then see out 340.1 this will print out 3.401000 e plus 002 and if I change the format to be fixed the output will become 340.100000 and I can also change the precision of the number see out dot precision 3 and now it will print out 340.100 we can also do the formatting for the input integer i c in set f ios hex ios base field and now c in i and at this point if we enter 12 in the standard input in the end i will not be equal to 12 i will be equal to 18 because 12 is parsed as a hexadecimal number. There's another function called flag, cout.flags. This will return the information about the current setting of the format. So we can use a iOS format flags f equal to cout.flags. And if this function has a parameter, flags, then this will set the format flag to this value, iOS oct, iOS show base. Now the cout has the 
format of octal number and it shows the base information. Now let's talk about some member functions of stream class that handles unformatted I.O. which means they will handle the input output data as raw text. First look at input. Say we have I I F stream inf my log txt and we have a char buff that has 80 characters of space and then inf get buff 80 this will read up to 80 characters and save them into buff inf get line buff 80. This will also read up to 80 characters or until new line is encountered. Inf read buff 20 this will read 20 chars. Inf dot ignore 3. This will ignore next 3 characters in the stream. Inf peak. This will return the character on top of the stream. Inf unget. This is an interesting function. It will return a char back to the stream. So when the next time you call the inf get function which reads one character you will get the character that you have returned back. Note that the unget function doesn't have parameters which means it will always put back the same character you have last read back to the stream. You cannot cheat. However you can cheat with another function called put back which can put back a different character back to the stream for next read. And in this case, it put back the character of z. Inf dot gc g count. This will return the number of chars being read by last unformatted read. And in our case, it will return 1 because the last read is the get function which reads one character. Now let's look at some output. OF stream OF my log dot txt and OF dot put. This will put one character into the stream. OF dot write above 6. This will write first 6 chars of buff into the stream. OF flush, it will flush the output. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos I have. See you next time.